Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're talking about the four last things, death, judgment, heaven, and hell. Recently, we've been discussing the rewards of the afterlife, and have just finished going over possessions. Now, are rewards given in the form of experiences in heaven? Do those in hell have experiences? This question is a bit more complicated than it seems. What we call experiences are instances of a person discovering, encountering, or undergoing a thing of some type. The word instance does seem to imply that experiences are temporary, or even that they take place for a very brief period of time. Since God is outside of what we call time, heaven and hell will most likely be the same, and that would seem to make experiences, in the usual sense, unlikely to exist there. However, a large number of good things, such as poems, songs, and adventures as we know them, need to be experienced if you're going to enjoy what's good about them. So, is there any way for a human being, living in a timeless heaven, to have experiences? There are a couple of ways to make this work, actually. First, you could say that being in a timeless place allows you to experience all times, but from a non-time position. This would allow people to immediately experience all sorts of songs, poems, adventures, and so forth without needing to be forced through time and experience the loss that comes from the past ceasing to exist. This position would require one to embrace the tenseless theory, or B theory of time, which is that all time periods are equally real whether they happen to be past, present, or future to us. Really, this is the only way that the loss of past goodnesses could be avoided, short of a miraculous intervention by God. Souls in heaven would be made aware of the real nature of time and would be able to perceive it as it really is, a line from start to finish, with countless events and experiences available at various points on it for those who are separate from time. Even if you believe that things like poems and adventures require time in order to be experienced, you could simply say that since the passage of time is subjective, all the souls of heaven need to do to experience them is adopt a subjective position on the timeline and allow themselves to travel forward through it, but I think that's unlikely. You could also claim that souls in heaven don't gain timeless perceptions of their own existence at all, that human beings are made to pass through one finite moment after another, and that God will provide a heaven for us which is capable of that. There are many possible ways of resolving this. As with many things having to do with the eternal destination, a lot depends on time theory. There are a couple viable theories of time which can be interpreted in different ways in terms of what they tell us about heaven and hell. I'll get into this a bit more when I talk about eternity. In any case, no matter what method you use, there are lots of good reasons to think that experiences are possible in eternity, and therefore in heaven and hell. Next time, would heavenly happiness feel unnatural? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.